So in this video, I want to walk through the execution of this program uh, in, in detail, step by step. And this is a very simple program that uh, basically just adds two numbers and outputs the result to the display over here. And uh, the way it works is we're going to load the contents of memory location 4, which is going to have a 14 in it. We're going to add the uh, contents of memory address 5, which has a 28 in it. We're going to output the result to the display here, and then we're going to halt. Um, and I've gone ahead and converted this uh, assembly language program over to machine language, and I've gone ahead and programmed it into the computer using the dip switches. And so now we're going to step through this step by step. And I'll get this out of the way and zoom out here so we can see the whole computer. And so the computer's uh, reset and ready to go, and what I'm going to do is the clock over here is in uh, step mode, and so each time I press this switch we're going to have a clock cycle. And the way that the clock cycles work is each instruction is made up of six different uh, micro-instructions. And down here, these uh, six LEDs indicate which phase of that uh, micro-instruction we're on. And uh, normally they're, they're all on, and uh, except for one of them, which is off, that indicates where we are. And so right now the, the LED for T0, which is the first uh, time uh, uh, micro-instruction cycle, or micro-instruction of the instruction cycle, I should say, uh, is is uh, is off, so that indicates that we're that we're just starting an instruction cycle, and then for each of these phases uh, of the instruction cycle, a different uh, set of LEDs over here in this control word will light up, and so for the first three, the first three T zero, T one, and T two are going to be the same for every instruction, um, and then three, four, and five are going to vary depending on what the instruction is, and so T zero, the first thing is is the program counter out and the memory address register in. And so what that's saying is that it's going to take the contents of the program counter, which is going to be the next instruction that we want to execute, which starts out as 0, because we want to start out by executing instruction 0. And it's going to put that into the memory uh, address register here. So if we step forward, we're not going to see anything happen, because there's already a 0 here, and there's a 0 here. So nothing happens. Now we've moved on to T1, which is the next stage of the uh, of the instruction cycle. And so in this case, we see we have uh, um, two different lights lit down here. One is the RAM out, and the other is instruction register in. And so the RAM right now, we're looking at address 0, it has this contents, which is the load A4 instruction. And so what this is going to do is it's going to say RAM out, so it's going to put the contents of RAM onto the bus, and then instruction register in, which is this guy down here, is going to then take whatever is on the bus and read it in. So it's essentially going to take what's in memory and put it into the instruction register. And so if we execute this clock cycle, then we'll see the memory contents have moved down here. This has also advanced us to T2. And so T2 says uh, counter enable, which enables the program counter and allows it to count to the next step. And so what that does is it just increments the program counter so that we can uh, so that the next time through will uh, will go to address 1. And so the program counter increments from 0 to 1. Now we've gone to T3, and at this point, because the instruction register has the instruction for uh, load A in it, uh, the control word, this, this logic down here is, has decoded that, and the control, control word is now going to do things that are specific to, to, loading, to the load A instruction. So the first three things were just loading the, uh, the instruction from memory. But now we're actually executing the instruction for T3, T4, and T5. So for T3, the first thing we do is we say that we want to, we've got these two lights lit here. So instruction register out and memory address register in. And so instruction register out actually is only taking the the, the least significant four bits from the instruction register, which is this 0, 1, 0, 0, which is a 4, and putting that on the bus, and that's because the memory address is only four bits. So it's going to take this 4 and it's going to put it into the memory address here, and that's so that we can get we can get this 14 out of memory. So when we do that, this 4 is going to go here, so if I advance, we've got the 4 there, and now that the memory address is 4, the memory contents are going to reflect what is in address 4, which is this 14. So now we see a 14 in the memory contents. And so then the next instruction, we're now at T4, or the next micro-instruction, I should say. We're still, we're still only on this load A instruction. But the next micro-instruction at T4 is uh, RAM out 
and A in. So RAM out is going to take the contents of memory and put it on the bus. A in is going to take whatever's on the bus which, and put it into the A register. So we should see this 14 value go into the A register. And so when we advance, we see that happen. And so now we have a 14 in the A register. And so at this point, we've actually executed the load A instruction. We fully executed that. But you see we're on T5. And that's just uh, the way that this computer architecture works is every instruction has uh, these six different steps to it. And in this case, we actually don't need to do anything in this step. And so everything on the control word is off. And so the next clock cycle actually doesn't do anything at all because we've already done all the things we need to do to load into register A. But some other instructions might, uh, might require more, uh, might require all, all six of these steps. So once we get to this point, the next clock cycle takes us back from T5 back to T0. And so now at this point, we're, we've advanced on and we're, we're going to move on to the add instruction. And so again, T0, T1, and T2 are going to be identical for the add instruction. And what they're going to do is they're going to take the program counter, which is going to tell us the next uh, address of the program we want to execute, which in this case is 1. We just executed 0, now we're doing 1. And it's going to put that into memory address. And then we're going to take the memory contents, put it in the instruction register. Then we're going to increment the program counter. That's what T0, T1, and T2 do. So T0, we're taking the program counter, putting it in the memory address. So this 1 is going to come down here. There it is. And once it's done that, now we're looking at the memory contents of address 1, which is the add instruction. So the next micro-instruction we do at T1 is to take the memory contents, put it into the instruction register. So when we do that, these contents come down here to the instruction register. The instruction register now is decoded, um, and we'll be able to go ahead and do the add instruction. That'll uh, feed into uh, the, the control word that, that comes up during T3, T4, and T5. But at T2, what we do is we just increment the program counter. So now the program counter is 2, so that next time we come through this cycle, we'll be executing instruction 2. So at this point, we've done T1, T2, and T3, so that's the instruction load phase. So now we do the instruction execution phase, which is 3, 4, and 5. And so for, an, uh, for the add 5, um, the first thing we want to do is get the uh, address that we want to load from. So we're adding uh, memory location 5. And so the 5 is part of the instruction here, this 0101, that's 5. So we're going to put that into the memory address register. So that goes there. And now we're looking at the memory contents of the 28 uh, here in memory. And so the next micro instruction at T4 is to take the contents of RAM and put it into the B register. So this 28 is now going to go into register B. And there it goes. And so now the final instruction, and so here in this case, the add instruction actually uses T5. So now the final thing is to take the contents of the sum register out and then put that into the, in the A register in. So sum register out, A register in is going to take the contents of this sum and put it into the A register. And so what's happening here is that A and B are fed into this arithmetic logic unit here, which is which is just uh, adding the two values and putting that here. And so this, this sum register is always going to reflect the addition of A and B. So we're going to take the sum register out, we're going to put that into register A. <clears throat> and there we go. And so now we have the, the sum of 14 and 28 is now in register A. So we've, we've completed the add instruction. And we're back at T0, and we're ready to uh, execute instruction at address 2, which is the out instruction. So the program counter has already been incremented to 2. And so the first phase here uh, at T0, we're going to take the program counter, put it into the memory address. We've done that. And so now the memory contents are reflecting the contents of address 2, which is the out instruction. So now we're going to take that out instruction from memory contents into the instruction register. And then the last phase of the uh, of the cycle here is to increment the program counter, so we increment that to 3. So then next time through, we'll execute instruction 3. So then the out instruction is actually pretty simple. Basically, uh, we're saying A out, and then output register in. So we're taking register A, putting that on the bus, and then the output register down here is reading from the bus. And so basically, it's just going to take this 42 in binary here and display it in the output register. And there it is. And then that's actually all that the output command needs to do. And so uh, T4 and T5 are unused. So T4, nothing there. We advance, nothing happens. T5, also nothing here. When we advance, nothing happens. So now we're on to the last instruction, which is the halt. 
And the halt basically is just going to stop the clock from running. And of course, the clock isn't running right now. I'm pushing this button to make the clock run, uh, but it'll make it so that when I press the button, nothing happens. Uh, so we can we can step through this as well. And so again, the first three uh, micro instructions are going to be loading the uh, loading the uh, instruction or fetching the instruction. And so the first one, we're going to take the program counter, which has the address of three, which is where we're getting the instruction from, puts that into memory. And so you can see in memory we have the halt instruction one 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 one. And so then t one, we take that and put that into the instruction register. And then at t two, we increment the program counter, uh, which is kind of weird because what we're saying is the next instruction we want to execute is four, but four is not actually an instruction, it's data, so we're not really sure what would happen if we executed there. Uh, but we don't have to worry about that because the computer's going to halt, we'll never get there. And so at T3, um, the control word tells us that what we're going to do is we're going to halt. And this halt being set basically just inhibits the clock from doing anything. So if I try to advance the clock, nothing happens. So I can just keep pushing this, nothing's going to happen because it's halted. And the only way to get out of this is to reset the computer. Um, so the program is, is finished running at this point, and we've got our answer.